Robert Wall had the bottle. He was supposed to drop the ball, bottle. And Bruce Lee got badly injured during this fight. I'll show you how it went. Right, Robert Wall's going to add the bottle out like that. Bruce kicks the bottle. Now, the, the bottle was supposed to drop, wasn't it? But Robert Wall didn't drop it. So he kicked the ball, the bottle. He turned around like this. And Robert Wall had the bottle right here. And it hit Bruce right on the hand. On the back of the hand like that. Cut himself really badly. Because oh, of that accident, we had a week off work. After one, after a week, <laughs> they decided to change it to a plastic bottle. Very <laughs> clever, aren't they? Anyway, after a week's rest, Bruce told us, "You watch me. I'm going to get him back." So he told all the stuff. I'm going to get this bloke back. So he kicked the bottle out of the hand, dropped the bottle, kicks him in the face, bang. He turns around. Hey, old Bruce. He's a left leg, you know. He swore at the bloke. Bang! Kicked him. That time I was um, standing by a load of chairs. Quite a long way away. About that far away from where the action was. The whole of Robert Wall flew across the set, passed me and landed, ended up in the chairs. There was no wire used in that shot. Imagine how much power he put into that kick. The shot was great. Rob Klaus said, great shot, okay, take. Bruce said, no, one more, I want another one. Oh, Robert Wall thought he was dead. He, he was really tired, knackered. He had a small pad on him. The second kick, he went even further, mate. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Bruce Lee wanted to get him back for that bottle. He was told me, definitely going to make him suffer for that. I, I've been shooting films for 30 years and I've never seen that much blood from any actor. That's why Bruce was that upset. It was a lot of blood. It's a classic story, isn't it? So anyway, Bruce Lee came again with a second bottle. Bob! He remembered to drop the bottle, he span around. And then Robert Wall was like that. Bruce done the old... He was like... He spoke in Chinese swear words. You motherfucker! Oi. Robert Wall just disappeared. Flew, he did. He flew that far, I tell you. Robert Klaus loved it. He said, oh, okay. Bruce said, no, one more. Look. Robert Wall was uh, suffering. He couldn't take it. He really didn't want to do another one. The next kick, he kicked him even further. No wire. So, yeah. what about Bruce's power then? There's nothing, nothing to discuss, is there? It's top class. A lot of people want to know about Bruce's real kung fu. Yep, he's got it. I remember one incident. Yeah, there's a, mo there's a, a guy doing a lot of kung fu shapes. Some um, tiger and crane fist it was. At that time Bruce Lee was uh, walking by. He just walked past him. And then the bloke said to him, Oi Bruce. You're good on the movies, but can you do it in real life, mate? Bruce goes, he said, Oh, you want to have a go then? And he goes, I'll meet you at lunchtime, we'll have a bout, we'll have a test. Everybody, we took our lunch boxes, sat down and had a look, we were waiting for this fight between Bruce and this tiger and crane man. 
So the guy went up to Bruce and had a had a go at him. He hadn't even moved, and Bruce had just smashed him. How did he hit him? Right, I'll show you how. Bruce was like this, you know, jumping up and down, quite relaxed. Bang, he hit the bloke in the face, and again in the face. Bruce, the guy didn't get one shot in at Bruce, and Bruce had already massacred the bloke's face. He was very relaxed, and very powerful at the same time. Bruce told me this. He said he wouldn't hit high, he wouldn't, he wouldn't kick high, it'd be all like this. Quick moves like that. Grabs and smashes. Um, he would never kick high like that, no, it's just for the movies. He wants the quick, short and effective techniques to get the blow on the floor. I'll tell you about Bruce. Everyone wants to know. After he shot one movie, he used this elect anyway. He used this electric uh, muscle device. Isometrics. It worked. And I remember one time, it was Bolo. It was Bolo Young. Remember? He went to uh, Bruce's. Down in Kowloon Tong. Uh, Bruce had a training room, didn't he? Well, Bolo had one look in there and panicked. His whole. Bruce had all these wires connected from his head to his toes and he was pumping up. Well, Bolo panicked. He couldn't take it. It's just like uh, Michael Hoy in the private eyes, remember when he had the thing on his head? It's, it was madness. Uh, Bruce's character, he really, he really looks after his stuntmen. He really respects them. He was going to bring us all to Hollywood. But, you know. When he died, all the stuntmen cried, they were so sad. We lost a good chance to follow Bruce, to bring Kung Fu out into the whole world. But now it's Jackie Chan and Jet Li's time anyway. But it's completely different from Bruce Lee here. They can't compare really. Jet Li's got Kung Fu, but it's different. It's pretty, but Bruce's is powerful, dangerous. Only Bruce Lee's got real Chinese Kung Fu. <laughs> 